Overcoming self-doubt is one of the biggest challenges we face in our lives. And it's definitely one of the biggest challenges that we face when we're developing our psychic abilities. Psychic abilities and intuition operate from a foundation of trust. They operate from a foundation of faith in the self and from a belief that the universe wants us to have the answers. Understanding this, it becomes clear why self-doubt is so toxic to psychic development. By participating in this course, you should be developing a much higher level of confidence, but I created this audio lecture to address the issue of self-doubt head-on. We develop self-doubt in the context of psychic abilities for many reasons. Maybe someone told us as children that our gifts were just our imagination, or that we had to hide our gifts, or there was something shameful about our gifts. Maybe we fear and worry that other people will judge us or be jealous of us if we use our gifts to their full potential. Or maybe we worry that people will judge us and call us crazy if we tell them about our gifts. Perhaps we believe that we aren't worthy of using our abilities to help ourselves and others, so we fear that everybody else would be a better messenger than we would be. Or we believe that we have to be perfect, that we can never make a mistake. These are just some of the reasons why we have self-doubts and in this lecture, I'm going to give you some techniques that you can begin to use to develop a deep sense of self-confidence and a strong sense of trust in your psychic abilities. Go ahead and get your journal now because the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is consider when you first began to doubt yourself. This exercise can be really emotional, but we know on a spiritual level that we face emotional things from our past so that we can release them and clear them. So once you have your journal and your pen ready, Go back into your mind, and I'm going to guess you're probably going to go all the way back to childhood, and just write about the first time that you remember feeling self-doubt. Write about the first time that you remember feeling that you couldn't trust yourself. Now, this doesn't have to be about your psychic abilities at all. We're going to address them in just a moment. But for now, just write down the first time that you learned you couldn't rely or that you couldn't trust your own instincts and feelings. And if you need to pause this audio lecture while you take time to journal, I recommend that you do that. Fantastic. I want to applaud you for having the courage to face that. I know that when I did this exercise, it was pretty emotional to go back into my childhood and to relive that experience of learning that I wasn't enough or learning that I couldn't trust myself just as I am. Now I want you to journal about the first time that you felt self-doubt in regards to your psychic abilities. Now, for some of you, this may have happened in childhood, and I know that was certainly the case with me, or it may have happened more recently. Sometimes we could be very confident in our gifts as children, and then it's in early adolescence or in our adult life that we begin to doubt them. Or sometimes we may just not have been aware of our psychic ability as children, and so the doubt didn't emerge until much later. But just spend a few minutes now journaling about the first time you felt doubt in relationship to your psychic abilities. And again, if you need to pause the lecture, go ahead and do so. Wonderful. Now, I hope that this these two journaling exercises were an illuminating experience for you, and I hope they started to give you a deeper level of awareness and a greater level of perspective about how you developed whatever degree of self-doubt that you have in your life. But now what I want you to do is to consciously commit to changing your relationship to these experiences. And let me explain how we're going to do that. I want you to go back in your mind and just imagine that you're meeting the first version of yourself, that version of yourself that first learned that he or she couldn't be trusted. And I want you just to tell them, just tell them in your mind or tell them out loud if you want, that they can trust themselves. Let them know that they can rely on themselves and I want you to tell that, that older ver or that younger version of yourself, that version of yourself that, that learned what self-doubt was, that version of yourself that, that learned it, it couldn't be confident or that learned that they couldn't be confident. I want you to just tell them now that they are loved and that they are completely supported. And you can see how that begins to alter your relationship to those experiences. And you begin to see that you, you don't have to doubt yourself. You can begin to see that it was probably other people's fears being projected on you. Now go back in your mind and repeat it with the second version of yourself. Go back to that version of yourself that learned that, it, that they couldn't trust their psychic abilities. And I want you to tell them that 
they can trust themselves. Let them know that their abilities do work for them, that they are a powerful intuitive, that they are a powerful psychic, that they can rely on the information they receive. And after you've told them that, I want you to tell yourself that, that you are loved and supported. Tell this version of yourself that they are loved and supported. This is going to redefine the way you relate to your confidence, and it's going to begin to dissolve self-doubt. You, want to, you may want to do this exercise several times moving forward so that you can begin to build confidence at every level of your consciousness so that these older traumatic experiences, they don't have to be a drag on you. You're changing them and molding them into loving experiences. After you do this exercise, I think you'll find your affirmations taking on a completely different level of meaning to you. They should begin to penetrate your heart at deeper levels. Now let's do our next exercise designed to dissolve self-doubt. Flip to a new page in your journal, and I want you to write down one doubt or one fear that you have about being a psychic or intuitive. Let me give you an example. One of mine early on was that I wouldn't get any information for somebody, that a client would come in or somebody would come in wanting a reading and just nothing would show up. But you may have other fears like I won't be specific enough or someone won't like what I have to say you know, or, or I'm not good enough to deliver the message. Whatever it is, write down one fear that you have about being psychic. So write down your fear in your journal. Now below that fear, because you have your fear written out now, so directly below that fear, I want you to write down as many things that you can think of that contradict that fear. So in my case, I would write down, I did readings for friends and they loved them. I have had many psychic dreams. I get psychic impressions all the time when I'm out walking around, etc. So write down as many positive evidences that disprove that fear. So all the things in your life that have proven to you that that fear won't come true. And just take the time now to write that down. And you'll probably have several. Now what I want you to do is pause this audio lecture and repeat this for all of the fears that you have. So come up with as many fears as you can, and then below each fear, write down all of the things that contradict this fear. So maybe it's, I'm not worthy enough, is your fear. And then something that contradict that would be, but I keep having psychic experiences over and over again. Or, I keep having experiences in my life that have pushed me in this direction. So, repeat this exercise for all of the fears that you have. The point of this is to show you that your fears are not grounded in reality. Usually fear is something that lives in our mind. Fear convinces us that the worst thing will always happen. But usually the worst thing doesn't happen. And when we do exercises like this, we begin to see that we can either be grounded in reality, in which the worst thing happens maybe 1% of the time, or we can be grounded in a false reality, a reality that says, you know, fear is real. And what I want you to do as you go through this week is to look at the list of positives that you wrote down next to your fears, and I want you to honor those positives as you go throughout the week. This is where I think the law of attraction really applies, or the like attract likes like philosophy. As you, at deep levels of your heart and mind, begin to focus on those experiences in which you have been exactly who you needed to be, you begin to draw and attract more of those experiences to you, and you begin to and you begin to become the confident psychic that you were born to be. So in other words, as you focus on your confidences, as you focus on your successes, as you focus on all those places in your life in which you actually were a powerful intuitive, in which you actually were a confident psychic, then you actually begin to become that psychic. You start to transform from the inside out. If you do the exercise in this audio lecture, you will notice a massive change in the level of psychic ability that you're able to obtain, and you'll also be amazed as self-doubt begins to easily and rapidly slip away.